Hello and welcome! I know I've been absent for a while and unfortunately this video is coming out a lot later than I wanted to but unfortunately there was something I absolutely had to do today that I could not by no means postpone so I had to make the video later but I hope you guys will still enjoy it. So today I am in the new tier 6 German aircraft carrier the Graf Spee and she's actually a really cool one. Of course, she's still a work in progress, as you can tell. And uh, the reason why she's really, really cool is that, look at this, look, they're big guns on this ship. And she's a special type of carrier that actually allows you to use your guns and actually manually fire them. Of course, you know, to make it more balanced, uh, you don't get access to any torpedo or dive bombers, but you do get access to fighters. Look, th th there it is. And uh, it's... It's, it's actually really, really effective. So I'll talk about what I picked on the ship first and then we'll, I'll show you guys some gameplay. So in the upgrade, first consumables, of course you go with all premium consumables. And even though, you know, she's a tier six carrier, she actually gets access to defensive fire, which is amazing. Nobody really expects this. And on top of that, because, uh, you know, She's expected to use her guns a little bit and go closer to fight. She also gets a heal, which is something no other carrier gets. So this already puts her head and shoulders above all the other carriers. Now in terms of upgrades, unfortunately she doesn't get access to the uh, carrier upgrades, but I suppose that's kind of okay. You know, you give and take a little bit to make it more balanced. In terms of the commander though, I uh, went with this kind of a build. So I tried to do a standard carrier build, but because you don't have any torpedo bombers, you know, of course, there's no point in taking torpedo upgrades. So I went with dogfighting expert. In the second line, there wasn't anything important for carriers. So I went with expert marksman, you know, because there are lots of things that need to turn on the ship. Uh, in the uh, third line, I could have gone with superintendent to get an extra heal which would be really, really nice. However, you don't get sniped that often in a carrier. Uh, I could have also gone with basic firing training, which would have helped me defend against being sniped, but I decided not to. Of course, emergency takeoff is absolutely the superior choice. And of course, in the fourth line, you go for air supremacy. Like, that's really no question, right? I mean, it's an aircraft carrier. Every aircraft carrier goes air supremacy. Now, I did notice a problem, though. For some reason, I think this skill is actually bugged because I don't get an extra fighter from it, which is really weird and I really hope Wargaming fixes this problem. And the last 9 points, well actually not last 9 points, because I think this skill, Direction Control for Catapult Aircraft, this one seems to actually work unlike, unlike Air Supremacy. Of course I don't want to, um, you know, redistribute the skills again because it's just so expensive. Look, I mean, it's 500 doubloons or 190,000 Captain XP. There's no way I can afford that. So right now we're just going to stick with this. But yeah, this skill seems to work instead of air supremacy. So, you know, we'll get both of them just in case. Maybe Wargaming fixes it and it works even better. And the last eight points you can obviously decide, like on normal carriers, whether you want concealment expert. I went with the um, skills that helped me against being sniped because, you know, I will go closer, I will do close combat in this aircraft carrier and as a result I think advanced firing training and manual uh, fire control for AA is going to be excellent. Okay, so let's take a look at some actual gameplay in this ship because it's quite nice and as a carrier of course I'm going to use the map view to move around. And as you can see I'm using the most appropriate camouflage for an air German aircraft carrier. Uh, I think it, I think it fits her perfectly. Now I was spotted for a moment, and it seems there is a Faragut over there, so we will try to deal with her. Now I would like to use the sh ship torpedoes. Yes, by the way, I didn't mention this. Uh, this carrier actually has torpedoes on the ship instead of the torpedo bombers. However, there is another. There is this high school fleet ship that's in the way. Some, some, some silly German cruiser. I don't know what it is. So now I need to maneuver and try to shoot on the on the bright side at least. Uh, the Faragut is probably going to focus on that silly high school fleet ship instead of me. So, you know, I should be okay. Now, because the maneuvering is a bit mediocre with the um, uh, with the 
map view, you know. I can't seem to bring all my guns to bear on her at all times. Oh, well, she took care of it. So, Clara got taken down. We are already one ship ahead. Uh, they only have one destroyer left. That's excellent. Um, nothing really happened, so I'll speed ahead. Now we'll go closer and fight that Cleveland and uh, Königsberg. Now the Cleveland is important to take out because uh, the Cleveland has good anti-air and as an aircraft carrier that's going to be an issue for me, right? Luckily, the uh, silly high school fleet ship tanks for me, so I don't have to do it myself. Which is good, I mean, everybody should defend their carrier, right? Okay, so I'm gonna launch my planes because it seems that there is enemy torpedo bombers incoming and... Uh, now we need to take out the Cleveland really, really quickly, and I think I should launch torpedoes here, just in case, because otherwise, you know, the Cleveland might shoot my planes down. Okay, uh, I'm also using defensive fire because I am close enough. Uh, we took out the Cleveland, excellent. Now, let's deal with this uh, Königsberg. You know, these uh, these secondaries that you can control on your own, these are, they're really, really good. But as you can see, another... Another problem with... Oh, and the uh, automatic secondaries took her out. But as you can see, uh, the uh, fine controls aren't very good with this map view, so we took that torpedo, even though we shouldn't have had to. So, but I mean, we shot down 11 planes and... Oh, look, there's uh, more fighters. It's okay, my fighters will take care of it. They'll easily win, right? I mean, on top of that, I will have my friendly anti-air around as well, and it should be completely okay. Come on now, fight- oh my god, he got really lucky, my fighter just got taken out. Wow, how lucky can you be, you know? I wish I had that kind of luck. What? Again? This- this is just- this is just BS? I- I- I can't believe that. That's so overpowered, come on, Wargaming. What- what, what were you thinking? How, how can you let some- other carrier went out. Oh, by the way, there's one strength I didn't mention. You see, this carrier seems to avoid normal carrier matchmaking. That is, uh, as you can see, there is two carriers on both teams, but there's also an extra carrier as me on our team. So we actually have two carriers while the enemy team only gets one, you know? that That's probably going to be a problem that people are going to whine about on Reddit soon again, right? But, I mean, it's understandable. Carriers do bring a lot of power. Um, but this does mean that uh, I'm actually fighting a tier 5 carrier, a carrier that's lower tier, but somehow, somehow, my fighter still lost to his fighters. I think it's just BS. But, unfortunately, in the game itself, we're not doing that great. Also, by the way, I was set on fire, but I didn't need to damage on it because I have heal, you know, unlike every other carrier. And this means that I can survive fires much, much better. Unfortunately, in terms of uh, cap points, we're actually behind. You see, the enemy team is 150 points ahead. Clearly, they've played really, really well. Um, my hat goes off to them. Maybe we should even compliment them, but we'll think about that at the end of the game, you know. Because this one still isn't over and we need to uh, pay a lot of attention to it. So. Look at this awesome ship just looks awesome. I mean, I, I really recommend trying out this new carrier once she becomes available, because it's just unlike any other carrier we have ever seen. And, you know, it's not nearly as overpowered as the uh, Graf Zeppelin, so, you know, it's a balanced German carrier. So, I meet the Tsuiho, and uh, great, now we can fight her, you know, carrier on carrier like we're supposed to. But you see, my carrier is so awesome that the enemy carrier is deplane, and I'm not deplane. I still have planes up in the air right now, so you know, I have played much better than she has done. Now I decide that yeah, I'm not going to use my uh, my the guns that I can aim at because I want to do like this old-fashioned secondary duel with carriers, you know, because. It just looks cool, and I think we should be okay-ish uh, with it. I mean, I have faith in the guns of this ship, okay? Well, although she is firing in her turn, you know, that could be dangerous too. But, again, I still have faith. 
But yeah, luckily she is the plane, or I, I suppose maybe not even that luckily, because I do have pretty good anti-air, plus I still have my fighters up, so... You know, I, I could probably defend myself pretty adequately. Too bad I don't have any uh, strike aircraft, otherwise I could just use those. You know, I was thinking, um, maybe this is what uh, Wargaming is going to make aviation battleships like, you know, like the ISA and maybe, maybe, maybe that other one, the very unfortunate one, you know, maybe, um, but maybe those Japanese ones will also have like strike aircraft, like automatic dive bombers or something, you know, that you launch and then they strike ships that are close to you. I think that would be pretty cool as well. Oh, it seems I have some friendly support. How often do you get support as a carrier? That's really amazing. Thank you, Emily. I love you. That's that's some very good, very well played by you. But it's okay. I think I got this. Look, I even got the fire on her. She she can't do anything. Wait, I think she used Namako now. Okay, so once we get one more fire, we. Oh my god, she, she just kill stole my kill. Come on, Emily, why would you kill steal? Come on, I had this. This was my kill. Oh, why, 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 why do I get these people? Come on. But, I mean, I did really well in this game. Look, I shot down 17 planes as an air superiority carrier. I think I did rather well. I got some secondary hits, I got some fires. I even sank two ships. So I, I would say I did really well. And look, I, I was third on the team. So, you know, I, I feel like... I, I carried my part. I did better than that friggin' kill-stealing Emily. Unfortunately, the credits gain wasn't that great, but you know, it is what it is. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this new uh, German aircraft carrier, and I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon. Thank you very much for your continued support, Gregory. And like I said, this video was late. It was intended to be released on the uh, first of this month, so please consider this video in that context.